piece off rent. How's Craig? Alive. No thanks to me. True that. He's taken him for another x-ray. Right. How's Sinead? Annoyed. With me? As if. She said I had no right to go riding roughshod across your feelings. Why won't you look at me? I trusted you. I thought you were a safe pair of hands, a true friend. I am. I'm so sorry. I was just trying to protect you. You made me feel powerless. I was right back there, in Nathan's flat. Ignored, overruled, powerless. I just couldn't bear seeing him look happy. You saw him. Dutiful wife, family. I mean, the sheer hypocrisy Wait, of it. Wait, hang on a minute. You couldn't bear it. Have you hurt yourself? It's your ego that made you have a go at him. You need to be the hero, to be the good guy. I don't need saving, Daniel. I have to live with this every single day. I try to not let it define me, but he came from left field and for a minute, yeah, I fell to pieces, but I trusted you. I told you not to say anything and you ignored me because your testosterone kicked in. I'm sorry. Yeah, you thought you knew best. I know that I'm a survivor, but you made me feel like a victim again. Friends are supposed to respect each other's wishes. Bethany, I hold you in the highest esteem. Yeah, well, actions speak louder than words. You are not powerless and you are not ignored, all right? I hear you, I hear you loud and clear. Well, I hope so. If our friendship has any chance, then... Bethany, you're heard. I'm gonna go and stay with Craig until Beth gets here. Shall I wait for you? No. No, you can go.